And I generally, I recommend you to, to ask the questions during the class because, as I mentioned, I have 200 students. And if I will be answering everyone, you know, it's just not physically possible to answer all of the emails. And, and I, I have only some limited time for answering the emails. So better just to, to ask during the uh, class. So some of you had some questions. Now is the time for asking. Yes, Alina, please. Uh, hi, Professor. I have a question. Uh, we have a group of people to do the project, like me and two other girls, and we want to ask, we want to analyze another company which is not on the list. And yeah, the question is if it's possible to take the other company. Hmm. Theoretically, it's possible. Let me just check. And what is the corp co co a company? Uh, yeah, one second. I will send the name to the chat. Meanwhile, there are there are other questions. Yes, uh, yes. Who was the first? Let me just check who was the first. Uh, Khan. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, hello. I couldn't find a group. I wrote a lot of people, but they have already groups, so I don't know what can I do now. Mm, what you could do, there is like that. Uh, if you open this file that is shared, I see that there is like uh, one person in the group number four, that it's Pavlo Nikiforuk, if I uh, pronounce it correctly. Pavlo, is are you with us? Yes, but I'm not alone because my friend forgot to to sign their names. Uh huh. And you have the how many people in the group? Three. Uh huh. Already three. Uh, okay, and you don't want to have one more person? I don't know. I mean, I don't maybe because if I ask you, then the, the answer will be different if this person would ask you. So maybe can, uh, if I also pronounce it where, can or can, I don't know, really can, I think. Can. Can, okay. Can. Okay, it's for me, it's can because I cannot pronounce differently, but OK, so if you have uh, maybe you can ask this uh, this this group number four, maybe I see that not group number three and there is the uh, Mentemir, Ismail and Yaroslav. Uh, maybe they also would like to have one partner. I don't know. Uh, mm, there are some groups with the three people. Try to ask them again now. I don't know how is the rest of you because actually all of you, and this is why it's shared file, right? There is a shared file. Uh, mm, so if we'll, if we'll be in the situation that really no one want to, to take you in the group, then I will just choose it like by random. I will choose one of this group of three people that has some of them have three and by random, I will just, so this is the group number. Currently I see number one, number three, number four, theoretically, although I don't see it yet, and number six. So from this group, I will just by randomly, I choose one number in Excel. This is this formula for, for random choices. And then you will be in this group. And then I will, you know, um, uh, what is here? Uh, but uh, Ali Khan Tamirov, are you here or not here? Because I get some kind of, uh, some exactly things that I said, like no questions, questions on chat, only during class. OK, so I will not answer any questions on the chat and especially when I have another classes and I will also not be answering all of the emails because I physically cannot do it. So now I just you see I get been bothered and you had to waste your time listening. This is what I'm saying. OK, uh, so let's ignore this question. So. If, if you can, if you cannot choose uh, somehow, uh, if you cannot choose this uh, somehow, then I will just choose four other people to, that's it. And then there will be random choice. Okay, Yaroslav, question, there was some. So, sorry. Um, I'm currently switching from the double diploma to a single diploma, but it will take some time. 
can I like already write my name or shall I wait a bit? Yes, I think that you can and you should be in the group with the single diploma because I mean you have already a high chances that you'll be switched in the end of the semester, right? Mm, I mean like uh, uh, usually it is written that the process takes uh, one week uh, after the letter. OK, is so delivered. at the end of the semester, you will be single diploma student probably. Yeah. And then so you should join the people with the single diploma. So mm -hmm. yeah, so that's it. You can write your name and be in the group with the single diploma. OK, thank you. Thank you. Other questions? Yes, Alina. Ah, the, you, you so, OK, about this company. So it's like that. Listen. Uh, uh, it is not that difficult to commit plagiarism in these classes. This is why I was uh, giving some kind of uh, this, giving some kind of uh, um, uh, mentioning this during the previous classes. And uh, in, from what I remember, because I have quite good memory, from what I remember, some years ago, I made uh, because you know I have these classes for many times. Just we uh, circulate with different companies, with different industries, and so on. And in some years ago, the the, the topic of these things or of these classes were exactly the uh, resource, the energy generally. And then it was like also another one was the alternative energy. And then we analyzed the companies with an alternative energy. And Ginkgo Solar Holding is the company from alternative energy. So there is a high chance that when I upload your uh, your report into this very, very smart and not easy to cheat uh, uh, program from United Kingdom that cost a lot of money to be licensed, that this program will find similarities between your work and other other work. So I wouldn't recommend this. Uh, this is, I think, too familiar for me uh, from this from this. So maybe other company. Uh, yeah, but it's uh, it's just not the specific pers uh, companies that I'm interested in, just in the renewable energy. Uh, yeah, but Jinko Solar is from this. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, we can choose the other one, which is connected with renewable energy and which is which was not analyzed before. Mm, yes, but remember that all of these things like uh, the description of this uh, sector, description of the this, it can be similarities and I never see the similarities. Then you will be, you'll get zero grade, and you'll have to have rested. So I don't know if it's worth to risk. Uh, all right, then. But we can. Um, but can we choose like another sector of sustainable development and analyze not, not energy? But what is the reason why it would be this? Uh, because we are interested in sustainable development, so you know we just want to analyze the company that we think that they do right things. Mm. OK, you know, there is something if you can analyze it, I will I will write you. I don't know. Uh, I will write you here in the chat for all of you also. Because of course, it's not like. You, um, there is this kind of thing you can analyze companies, but I don't know if they are uh, quoted on the on the market. If they are private, it will be difficult to do it, but they are involved in this kind of material. This is a pair of Skype material that is related to is a new type of uh, new type of a renewable energy kind of you know in the solar panels they use this kind of uh, a silicon and uh, um, and they use the how is the name uh, f f f f f uh, crystals right crystals from the from the materials and this is a new material that it can be used so if you will find a company that is Quoted, it would be the best if it's quoted company because it's private. You'll have a difficult to find the data that is related to this. Then it would be totally different that is uh, from the other other uh, previous classes made because then it's like a very specific kind of thing. It's perovskite uh, technology. It's related to that. Mm. So if you find if you manage, then you can do this. But if not, then I would really uh, I would say that no, that is no 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 because there is a too high. A chance of uh, plagiarism. So there is like too much risk. And I, why to have this risk if you don't have to? Mm, or maybe you can find some other like you know renewable, but maybe not the, not necessarily renewable energy. Maybe it's something else renewable. I don't know some kind of a company that produces energy from uh, burning the trashes or you know hydro hydro energy company. You know like with the hydro. I remember there is 
probably there was nothing like that. And it's totally different. It's the totally different uh, sector than the typical, let's say, solar panels, right? So something like that. Okay. Alina, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. I understand. Yeah, understood that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. so it's possible to choose the other one, but we need to like more consciously think about it. Yes, like or this perovskite or, or other examples that I gave you, but something like this hydro energy and so on, something like that. That for sure is a very specific. If you really, really want this, if you have a really good reason to that, I see if you're interested in that, then why not? I'm quite elastic and I believe people are generally honest and adult, also students. Okay, another yes. other, no problem. Other questions? No, no questions. So, okay, so we can move on actually because I would like to still uh, say a few words about this because we didn't finish it. So I would like to say a few words about the, um, the description of our classes. So I will just divide with, I mean, uh, I will share with you. I will share with you. And where is that? It's this one. Okay, uh, all of you see the, the document here with the descriptor? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so last time we discussed carefully, you know, what are the, you know, for what are the important points, that this important point, the, the I point is important because it has the biggest marks also, you know this, right? So, so these yeah. things. And I also started to explain you this kind of method, expert method, right? Your own standard calculations and these non-standard calculations when I gave you this example in the quotation, a famous example about the chicken, right? And the chemical industry and how is the, the quotation, how is the, the relation, right? All of you remember this thing. And then we discussed all of this that it cannot be mixed, that it needs to be the file sent by one person only as a leader of the group. I would like maybe in this table that you he here have the, the table in the um, shared document, I would like maybe make on yellow the person who would be the leader, okay? Make this name, surname in the yellow background. Uh, surname or name can be both. So, for example, it's uh, for example the group number one. Let's say that Miss Dominica Makarak is the the leader. So let's take uh, Dominica Makarak in the yellow background to see me to to see for me who is the leader of this group. And from this person, I want to receive one email containing the number of the. Uh, individual versions, which is equal to the number of the members of the group, plus one, the group report, which is the main thing. So if this group has three, I will receive four. If the group has four, I will receive one email with five attachments. Four individual versions plus one group. This we uh, recap from the previous classes. Okay, now uh, I will in a moment share with you the video that is will be uh, already starting uh, some kind of materials that you need to get, but uh, uh, let me just first find it, but before that I would like to also uh, um, say a few words about all of these elements, some of these elements in, in particular, in like in more depth, okay? But maybe you have some questions or maybe you already have some knowledge from uh, related to this. If you do or you want to like ask some kind of mentor questions, so then you can of course uh, do it. Meanwhile, let me just find this uh, videos for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Videos are here. So first video um, will be here. First video will be about let's, let's see the 50 of them. Uh, valuation of the stocks. I think that the first one should be saying about the capital pricing model beta risk-free rate uh, 
I think this is something that we will start with. Then we'll move with the uh, cost of equity models, different models, just for you to know that there are different models. Uh, cash flow statement dividend the policy life, uh, life cycle of the company. This is also important video, but this will be a bit later. Because first you need to learn about the. We need to learn about this. First thing first, and then evaluation models, uh, credit crunch problem, dividend discount model, and so on. Some examples, some solutions. OK. So um, I will show you this video. Let me just be sure CPM. Risk free rates, beta. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is this. Okay, there's actually also the. Um, Maybe instead of starting with that, maybe we'll start with something a bit that is a bit easier for you to get, which is also important and will be related to the cost of. OK, so let's start something with something easier. Uh, when you look at this at this uh, file here, right, you see that the first of first points are related first three point ABC, which we are focusing now uh, are related to the calculation of some kind of a, a cost of cost of uh, capital. This capital has different forms and this I told you already from the previous classes you you can uh, remember from your accounting classes that the sources of, of capital in the company are the own capital that, that's called equity and the capital uh, borrowed capital which is debt generally called equity and debt and then we can you in this project you need to calculate the cost of both of them. Question for you. Which cost do you think will be higher? Equity or, or cost of debt? Cost of equity or cost of debt? Anyone? I think the cost of equity must be higher because like they are not that trust for the as governments so they can have it more than equity so they can have so big such a big debt. Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, thank you for the question, uh, but remember, let's remember that I ask you, would you prefer exactly use the microphone and you know, we need to make these classes as a classes in the, in the university, right? Not like a classes that it's like all everything chatting and writing, especially as I said, like chat is mostly for me, okay? If don't just don't use chat if I will not ask. Oh, this would be the best. Um, so from the point of view of the corporation, let's assume that there is a corporation that can issue debt, issue bonds. We don't include here any kind of government, nothing like that. We don't talk about the risk free rate. The government issued the bonds with the risk free rate. But um, we are discussing about the private companies. So the private company can issue debt or can issue stocks and they can sell stocks on the market or sells bonds also on the market. Which way of those uh, will generate uh, lower costs of the, in other words, for the company is the cost and from the, the point of view of the investor is the, let's say, invested required return. Which one will have the higher cost or higher required return? Now just to exclude anything about the argument about related to government. The equity or the bond from the company, let's say Microsoft company, they issue equity, stocks, and they issue bonds, which is which will have higher cost. Anyone? You don't have any any thoughts about this? Nothing? Okay, Paulina. Uh, I think that the cost of equity is going to be higher due to the different uh, 
kinds of risk aversion because uh, the risk to attributable to shareholders is, I think it is higher than the risk to the lenders. Mm -hmm. Bondholders. Very good, very good yeah. answer. Thank you very much. Exactly. From the point of view of the investor, if you invest in a bond, remember the, there is a, a law that protects investors from the, you know, uh, of the bonds. And if the company bankrupts, there is some kind of uh, sequence of who is going to be paid first from what is left from the company. So let's say Microsoft is bankrupting and there is, but there is some assets. They are going to be sold. And this money that will be divided for the people who are in related to this cost. Generally, the the let's say the some kind of the, the parties that are can be bondholders, can be shareholders, employees, and so on. So who will be paid first? The employees would be paid first for those salaries that they would that they, they didn't. This is one person. Then second, there will be some kind of pension funds and the taxes. This is the third, the second let's say level. Then the, all the bank credits would be paid, and then would be the bond bondholder paid and only if something is left there will be shareholder paid so from the investor point of view of course there is more risk in stocks than in bonds and you need to remember this now uh, from the point of view of the company because the same is it's the, it's the same the equity is more risky also for the company because if the company allows someone to vote this person can make a mess they can you know mega votes that are against the, the, the company, the company needs to share power. So it's you understand it's the same thing. It's, it's the same thing. It's more risky. So generally equity should be more expensive than debt. OK. And if you will have now uh, you will be calculating your results in your excels, you should have this result like the equity cost of equity is higher than cost of debt. Now cost of equity has different uh, models. To, to calculate this cost of equity. It will be different models. One of these models is CAPM and we'll be discussing this in a moment. But cost of debt is much easier to calculate. It's much easier to calculate because it's just most of the company borrows the uh, issue bonds or most of the company issues issue the um, uh, uh, take the credit from the bank, right? Now you for your company that you chose for analysis, you need to know how much there is debt and how much of this debt is in which kind of form. So debt can be in form of bond usually and in form of the credit or loan from the bank. OK, so you need to know how much of the debt company has in the last five years every year, like you need to have this data and then you need to check how much of this debt was in the form of bond, how much of this debt was in the form of credit. From where does the information take? You can take this information from the financial statement of the company, yearly financial statement, the yearly one. Um, and there will be sure should be written. Uh, you can find also the quotes of these bonds if this company issues the bonds. If this United States is high, probab high probability that they issued some bonds. And you can find the quotes of these bonds and then you can calculate something that is called yield to maturity, YTM of the bond. And exactly about this, there will be the classes now, the lecture that I recorded for you. So um, there will be some introduction to the fixed income, uh, uh, fixed income uh, assets. And with this introduction to this fixed income, I will, of course, there's like you can skip the first part because, of course, this is like also introducing myself, but I already, we had already first classes. Uh, and from some classes, I'm starting like that, and from some, I don't. So don't worry about, uh, about this. And uh, let me just also find maybe for you fixed income securities. Um, introduction and time value of money. There will be another class that I will also time. Time value of money it will be the second class. So the second class will be this. I mean, the second second video will be this and the third video will be types of bonds. And this is I'm just Oh, types of bonds, yields, and exactly those bonds yields. As I told you, the most important thing is YTM, yield to maturity. The, in this video, there will, I will be explaining everything. There is also the, uh, there is also the, um, the part that will 
I will be talking about the uh, coupon rate. It's on the, the first, first, I will f few times mention this. So the coupon rate is just like a, a nominal loan, nominal uh, nominal value of the loan, right? If you have you go to the bank, you have the nominal loan, right? Like you pay 3% for the credit. It doesn't mean that it's the full price that you're really paying because there is some kind of additional, I don't know, some insurances and maybe then you're paying 5% instead of three. So this this 5% is the like yield to maturity, 3% is the nominal yield and this is like a coupon. So coupon of the bond just tells how much the interest are paid in nominal sense. But if you have interest, let's assume if you have interest that, interest that are called five and the nominal value of the bond is 100. Does it mean that you will really earning? So nominal value of the now focus here. Nominal value of the bond is $100. The interest paid yearly are $5. And then does it mean that your rate of return will be 5%? The question is, I mean, the, the answer is, of, of, of course, no. no, exactly, because if it would be yes, it would be too easy, right? So no, because if you buy this bond for $90, dollars, right, you buy this bond for the $90, at the end of the some time, you will receive the nominal value, which is 100, so you already earn 10, and you also per year, you receive five. Let's assume that this bond is only one year, so you buy it for, bought it for 90, you will receive 10 and you will also receive 5 of interest. So you received 15 and 15% 15 from 90 is much more than 5%. Another situation, maybe you will buy this bond for $103. If you buy this bond for $103, you will receive 5 during the year and at the end of the year you will receive the nominal value which is fixed and it cannot be changed and it's 100. So from this buying for 103 and receiving 100, you are minus $3. You will have a loss capital loss. The interest plus five, so minus three plus five is only plus two. So you invested 103 and your in, uh, return is two. So two from 102 is much less than five uh, 103. So two divided by 103 is much less than 5%. So this is exactly, there is a difference between the coupon rate and the a, a yield, the nominal uh, uh, and the yield to maturity. And this will be explained for you in the videos now. Uh, so the, the, the deal is like that. I'm sending you these videos. Uh, uh, you now watching these videos for some time and then uh, I will tell you how long. Of course, I will write it down till what time. So this is the intro to bonds because I understand that you didn't have classes about bonds. Never ever, uh, right? Uh, we did actually. You did. So all of those things that I just said, uh, they are uh, well known. Mm, I wouldn't say all because we might have forgotten some things, but at least a few things uh, for sure. Okay, so the question for me to all to, to all of you, right? To all of you, just say, are you able to calculate the uh, return exactly yield of to maturity of bond or the price of the bond? The people who had like introduction to. Uh, we have two investment uh, classes about, I mean, the classes about the investments we have like previous uh, semester and those who actually attended in theory, we should be able to. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the theory. Now, can, uh, can I just see how many of you had these classes? So could you raise the hand and keep it raised? Keep it, keep it right because I want to really count how many people had these classes in all of you or majority or minority. I see eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's 13 from 18 people. Okay, now you can lower the hands. So 13 from 18 people. Okay, so, um, but it's also because you said that in theory you'll be able to do this. So I will just send you the, I will send you anyway the videos. This is intro for the bonds, so you can watch it. Uh, valuation and time value of money. Uh, valuation. It's another video. And 
and um, times of uh, yields, bond yields. Is another video, and I think that maybe for now it will be uh, vol volatility and so on. Duration, I don't know if you had this kind of thing, but um, did you have something like duration? The classes? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I'm not sure what this may be. Like, we had a few words about it, then maybe we can actually say whether we had or not. But by the name, I do not think so. Convexity and duration of the bond. So this this is the very uh, the name is only like that. It is like very. Then it also can be modified duration. Um, that's it. It's not no other names synonyms. Mostly it's used like that. So it is when the like the percentage change on the bond after let's say two years or so. Mm, no, it's the real, if the interest rates change in the economy like I uh, go up or down, then the price of the bonds reacts for this change and. And what is the price reaction of the bond? This is the duration. So some f we, we had just a few words about it, but not like a lot. So OK, so. Um, so but OK, let's let's keep it because it's also a bit more advanced topic. I mean advanced. I don't know if it will be used now for actually for you because probably will be evaluating this now. Uh, Tran Viet An has uh, still the hands. Uh, do you want to say something? For uh, to uh, to me to us. Oh no! So it was just uh, just you know you are just keeping this hand up. Like no 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 problem. I'm just like making a habit like you know <laughs> just because it wouldn't happen in a, in a class right. It will probably people wouldn't keep like the hands like for 15 minutes up because it would be tiring. But okay. So I'm sending you these links. Uh, all these videos takes. Uh, let me just calculate the time more or less. So this is 22, 25 and 36. So 36 minutes, 36 minutes. Uh, this takes uh, 25 minutes. And this one takes um, 22 minutes. More or less we have something like um, one and a half hour. I think probably you can cut it to one hour because most of you probably, I mean, many of you, I mean, I, I cannot skip it totally because there are some people who didn't have it and maybe some of you that really don't remember. But because after this, let's say that we, some of this you can skip, you know, to make it faster. And, uh, and in one hour we can uh, discuss because I would like to be sure that it's like done and we just move on and I will just apply this thing for calculating for a really for the company, right? So how to do it? Then we make some kind of like a more classes that will be the part of the class will be related with, you know, you need to open your excels, you need to go to the financial statements of the company and we start to discuss this, how to do this. OK, so I assume that this will be, although it's like one and a half hour more or less, we we'll cut it to one hour. So now it's like, so I will write like till just for also for you to know till like till 13. You are watching this video and at 13 we are starting discussion and we are applying what you watched from this video and this is a refreshment that says some of your knowledge to your companies. So in this, if, if you feel strong that you don't have to watch, you, know, you will see what is there, right? Like, oh, I already know this, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is easy. I understand what is the you know, difference between the, uh, the coupon rate and the yield to maturity. And I know how to evaluate it and I know how to calculate the total value of the bonds so I can easily, you know, do apply it for my company. So you actually start doing that during this till 13. OK, you will start to download the data for your company. You will download the information about the series of the bond that this company released that they are really currently in in a, in a um, stock market uh, available to buy and sell. And then you will start to calculate those uh, YTMs, right? So the the goal, the main goal, the main goal is to calculate the yield to maturity of the all current bonds uh, quoted uh, and issued, quoted on the market. So I'm just writing this for you on the market and issued uh, by selected 
company. Com company. Do, do you? So this is the main goal. If you know how to calculate YTM, you know what that all of these differences. Then you are able to do it. And then I encourage you to during this time to 13 do it and then later on we'll be checking this because this is a part of your report so actually you are writing your report at least the excel part because later you need to describe and explain and so on but you are writing the excel part on the classes with me which is good for you because it means that there probably there will be no errors is it clear what i want from you i mean just like posting this now is it clear what i want from you on this class more or less at least like 90 percent clear Mm, yes. OK, so now till 13 you are watching. If you feel very good with that, you can move on to the to calculation of the YTM. So you need to find the data of your companies. And then at 13, I'm starting to checking uh, first your understanding of these topics. Or maybe, I, to be honest, I would be very glad to check in your calculations. And then we'll share the screen. Someone of you will share the screen. Show me the calculations. Doesn't have to be finished. Don't worry, I know that it's like a hard goal and maybe one hour is a short. Doesn't have to be finished and then we'll discuss it. Yes, Daniel? Uh, I have a question concerning those movies. Uh, is it only during the classes that they will be available or actually we can watch them like even in the free time? Because like during the class, of course, we can watch the uh, video, then like do some stuff. And let's say after the class, we may forget something and yes, we'll feel like yes, that we I need understand. to take a look at the video I once again okay yes yeah, so they are available for you you can uh, i mean as i said like from the first class as i said like you can watch these videos but you cannot like copy them uh, you know share the links with any other person and so on so on those are only for you as a student and you can watch them as many times you want no problem now what you need to also watch them actually during the classes because i need to be sure that in at 13 we'll be talking more or less in a quotation the same level i mean I need to be sure that you you know what we are talking about, right? That I will not be just like speaking and you will like what he's talking about, right? Like I don't understand. You need to understand and you need to be able to apply it, not only understand but apply it for your company. Okay. So for those who are feeling more advanced, this is this main goal: calculate the YTM. For those who are not, focus on the video because later on at 13. We are starting to do it anyway together. It would be perfect if I would have a, a some, and I call it like a good students, and I hope all of you are good students. But I like to have some few good students who are yes, yes, I did it, and then this student can share the screen. And believe me, I remember these people. I remember their names through names at least for till the moment when I have the classes. I mean, till the moment when I have the checking the your grading your. So you will probably have a, a bit. This impacts me. It's not official. I cannot say that it's official, but it's impact the grading. If you will be active and, and showing, then I mean, it's obviously will be visible on your report probably, but uh, it will be impacting positively your grade. So uh, till 13, we are focusing on this task. OK. I don't see any. I don't. I, OK, thank you. I don't hear anything like a resistance here, so uh, I'm turning off my mic and I'm mm, uh, allowing you to enjoy those videos. So see you at 13. Good morning students. Uh, welcome to the uh, classes. We'll have we'll start our classes online. And I hope that at the end of the uh, semester we will be have the possibility to, to meet, uh, meet face to face. So uh, today's class will be introductory. So I will just uh, tell you generally, I will give you overview from uh, for all of the topics that we'll cover, all of the specifics. I will also uh, introduce myself, probably you know uh, from the USO system, from, from, from other sources, my name, surname. Uh, so my name is Tomasz Schabek. Uh, a few words maybe about me. So I'm trying to, during these classes, give you some knowledge not only about the theoretical aspects of the uh, of the subject, but also something, uh, some some news, some let's say some kind of uh, insights from the the private sector, from the uh, from this uh, markets. Um, so my background generally is uh, in economics. Um, and I was uh, my my um, PhD thesis was related.